Well, this is just some of the reaction after Michael Sam's preseason came to an end on Thursday. Sam had a team best six tackles in a loss to the Dolphins and was impressive throughout the preseason, arguably. The Rams must cut their a roster down to 53 like everyone else, uh, and Sam seems squarely on the bubble. Do you think he'll make the cut, Bayless? I don't know, to be honest. And I must tell you, when I was watching SportsCenter early this morning and I saw our friend Darren Woodson and also Mark Dominic, both of whom I respect, right. say he won't make the roster, might make the practice squad. I was really surprised by that because I said before the draft, as Kerry can attest, I would have taken Michael Sam in the third round. He obviously lasted until the seventh round. And I, I am prone to like, to really like, productive SEC football players. And he was highly, Michael Sam, yeah. productive. He was the co-defensive player of the year. I watched him a lot. I watched him against Johnny Football. And every time I turned on Missouri's games, even in the, the uh, SEC championship game, I saw Michael Sam jump off my TV screen. You know, that's my rule of thumb. If you see a player flash, hey, they, that means they got a pretty good shot to translate into your league, into the big boy league. And in this case, I don't know Ethan Westbrooks, but when I do turn on their games, he's flashed to me because he can play every defensive line position as an undrafted free agent out of West Texas A&M, but he's more versatile than Michael Sam is. But Michael Sam is high energy. He's a specialist, but he could be a valuable specialist to have to, to send into a football game to just juice it up, you know, to, to take the, 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 the emotion up, the excitement up. He's going to make a couple of plays a game off the edge that will get your crowd back into the game, get you back into the game, maybe force a turnover. I want that guy on my football team because he will continue to get better and better because his energy and emotion will be 1,000% every play that he plays. And he's played like that through the preseason. So for me, it's hard to, to understand how you don't want that on your football team, even though that is your strongest position on the football team. You strengthened your strength when you drafted him because they are, we all know they are extremely deep at that position. I don't care. I want to strengthen my strength because he will make me a better long-term football team with him on my squad. So I don't see how you could cut him, but that's just me because I liked him so much before he was drafted. Well, they cut SEC players all the time. They do. Yeah. The SEC is a very good conference, but it's not the National Football League. I see a guy that's, he's an effort guy. Hi, and I don't know how you keep a guy that's going to play mm -hmm. maybe three plays a game on the active roster when he doesn't play special teams. And I heard as we were going to break, Michael Sam say he's very confident. I was a seventh round draft pick when they had 12 rounds. It was 192. I didn't sleep a wink. Mm. Bec and I played all the special teams. I was a gunner, punt return, wow. kickoff return, and... I got a lot of reps with John Elway with the first team, and I still didn't sleep a wink. I don't know where his confidence, and I, I, I applaud the kid. He's very confident. But when I see a guy, he doesn't jump off the screen at me. I see okay. a guy that's an edge rusher. All he can do is wipe away. He doesn't have a stop, stop start. He doesn't have change of direction. He doesn't have a, a bull. You, you never see him bull anybody. When he tries to bull, he's, not that way. he's nope. stationary. Mm -hmm. But see, as a defensive end, you watch Chris Long. You watch Robert oh. Quinn. Now, I'm not going to say. you're going to the top no, no, of the list. No, no. I'm yeah. saying, but when you watch guys that can rush the quarterback, yeah. and this is what these guys do. They rush the quarterback. They come with a hump move. They come with a cross your face. They, cut, they, can, they have bend. They can dip the hip. Sure. They can uh, uh, bend the corner. Michael Sam is just a guy. A guy gets lazy, sticks his hands out there. He wipes them away, goes around the edge. But. You see him too many times get pushed completely off the screen. And I just don't know. I, I wouldn't go that far. I see I, him get pushed off the screen. I'm just, okay. I see better right. than I hear. I hear what you're saying. But when I watch him, that's what I see. I see a guy, he's, a, he's an effort guy. And I don't know, given the circumstances that they have on defensive line, and as you mentioned, I watch Ethan, Ethan Westbrook because I heard uh, uh, Jeff Fisher talking about him. I said, well, I'm going to see what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. This dude can play. Can this play. dude can rush the passer. Uh, now the he can rush it from inside or outside. Now they go, they, they, they've increased the practice squad, Skip. They've gone from 7 to 10. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And so, you know, a lot of times, sometimes, if you're worried about a guy getting, if you put a guy on the practice squad, you must release him. You get worried about somebody else might have saw what you saw and snatch him up. 
because he gets an opportunity. If they sign him, they have to sign him to their roster. They can't sign him from your practice squad mm -hmm. to their practice squad. I don't think they're worried about if they were to release Sam, yep. that someone's going to snatch him up. I believe he makes the practice squad, has another year to grow, and we'll see tune in next year at the same time and see if he's gotten better. Okay, he's, obviously it was a great fit because yeah. it was St. Louis and a Missouri kid. Yeah. We, we, I, I get all that, but listen, if I'm another, t this is just me, Yeah, I'm snatching him up if they, if right they put him on the market. Uh, quickly, you said you didn't sleep a wink seventh round. No. Do you believe that he's really truly confident or is he just saying the right thing? Maybe he's saying the right thing. Yeah. Maybe he's saying the right thing because I think as a seventh rounder, you can never be confident as a seventh rounder. They, I mean, really, they bring seventh rounders in, Skip, for, for bodies. They're not counting on you to make the football team as a seventh round draft pick because if they were, they'd have took you a lot earlier than what they did. Ladies and gents, we leave it there. Peyton and the Broncos.